Well, it's official. Ten Oahu intersections have been selected for red light cameras. The cameras are already up and running at two sites along Vineyard Boulevard, and officials say the results speak volumes. Bryce Moore has details. Since the red light camera was installed at Vineyard and Palama, the Department of Transportation says the daily average of 10 to 11 red light runners per day has dropped. For Palama during the morning period, it was down to five to six per day. And now during the citation period, it's down to two a day. Vineyard and Liliha's cam is still in the warning period, a 60-day span where vehicle owners are still notified their car ran a red without being fined. Before that started, Liliha averaged 22 red light runners per day. Now it's down to 10 to 11 per day, so about cut in half. And we're expecting that to be cut in half again once citations start up on the 9th of this month. This map shows the phases of the pilot project. We've gone over phase one at Palama and Liliha. Phase two is in teal and phase three is red. The next cam to go active will be Vineyard and Nu'uanu, with a warning period there starting December 9th. Phase three will start up in January of this of next year, and we're intending to get all of the 10 sites done before March of next year. One Pi'ikoi Street resident was initially taken aback that he could get a ticket without even being behind the wheel. Maybe it's a good thing. I mean, I wouldn't want to get the ticket if someone was driving my car. I mean, I share a car with my girlfriend, so I hope that she doesn't get me a ticket, but... Thinking it through the safety, it means a little bit more. Like, I mean, you own the car, you let them drive it, so you should be responsible for what they do with the car, you know? Now, most of the intersections have four corners, with the exception of Kapi'olani and Kamake'e. Sniffin telling me it's been a problem area. High volume and high incidents. So there were crashes in that area that occurred due to uh, people running red lights. He says the DOT will be required to show the legislature how effective the two-year program is and whether to recommend it at other sites. We'd love to present that data to the legislature uh, in hopes that we could push more photo enforcement in different areas, in different communities, to minimize the potential for fatal crashes. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.